Good evening. So I'm in my dorm room today. Um, it's kind of messy. <laughs> Don't want to show you what it looks like. I have paint everywhere, artistic stuff. Um, I'm just a big weirdo. Anyway, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to make a video on tonight. So I'm just going to let channel through something and see if something comes through. And if not, I can always just make a new video. See, I'm doubting myself. Don't doubt yourself. Okay, doubt. Wow. Um, so doubt is a very strong um, word that is connected so strongly to fear. We doubt ourselves because we set ourselves to limits of fear because we have fears that um, keep us restricted from our true power. And doubt is um, something we would have over time gained. Um, so to release that doubt over time, you have to unwind all the entanglement of all of the doubt and fear that you've built up over the years, unconsciously knowing that you've actually built up this doubt and fear by everything around you that you've seen, um, everything that's been consumed in you. And um, it's, I'm trying to think of like an example. It's, you know, these, what I speak of is really abstract. So it's, tr I'm trying to break it down to like surface words. So it's more of an understanding of, you know, what I'm talking about. For I can help you to guide yourself to your own light. Um, but breaking free of doubt is a big one. So, oh wow, okay. When you're doubting something, you're going back and forth. Oh, should I do this or should I do that? You cannot make a decision. When you can't make a decision, nothing is solid. When nothing is solid, it's forever non-manifested. It's just waiting for something to happen. Um, and that, and we, we don't recognize how much, um, how much resistance we're sending out to the universe when we ask for things and then we go back and we doubt ourselves for the things that we ask for so that's the exact energy we're going to get back from the universe is unmanifested unanswered because we don't know what we truly want i was so bad at this um for a long time and i'm and i'm still learning and i'm growing and i'm gaining more strength to not doubt myself and be like who cares so I've been posting videos like the last couple days and a couple people have came up to me and thanked me for posting them and I felt really grateful because I was like, people probably think I'm like whacked out of my mind or something. Um, when I'm just like, just being myself, like trying to be myself and being myself and I wanted to like, I have thoughts like, what is someone going to think about me? But who gives a fuck what that one person thinks about you? Because they are not your future. You are your future. And creating that that path, your own path, and not following the crowd because of what they're doing and how they're thinking of you is like one of the biggest steps I've ever took, the hardest step that I took, but the best choice that I've ever made. And I know it's, and I know it's the right choice because it feels right. And I've slowly been overcoming that doubt, um, recognizing that I am not that doubt. I am not that fear and there's nothing to fear. You know, uh, we've been told our whole lives, if you don't believe that, if you don't believe this, you go to hell. So you're instantly trapped in fear unconsciously because it's so natural it's so normal to live in fear and that's you know when you when you take a step back and you look at what's going on in the world and you're like yo this is not normal like people are living in such a fear-based mindset a hurt suffering pain living the same patterns over and over again the same cycles repeatedly doing the same things that they do not like doing. 
So why do people do the same thing over and over and over again that they do not like doing? One, they're obviously like addicted, but what is addicted? More like pattern addiction, um, like, yeah, addiction. Um, so you have energy, your body is energy. It's all different forms, all different vibrations, all different frequencies, if I said that right. Um, so when you have like an addiction um, of repeatedly doing something, it's because, um, say you've been doing this certain thing for 10 years. So what builds up is that vibration that that thing that you're doing, that vibration builds up on you. So you literally have that frequency on your body, that vibration on your body. So it's natural for your body to go towards what it's always done because you resonate with that frequency because that your body is that frequency. So you have to slowly maneuver your way into new energies, into higher forms of vibrations, into higher forms of understanding, and you'll slowly start to transmute that energy. You're transforming that energy, just like I think I was talking in another video with the butterfly, the cocoon, and the butterfly, the worm, the cocoon, and the butterfly. Um... And how, you know, you see this worm go in this, this dark black hole and come out a butterfly. Transmutation. It was a, that's a really good example of like one whole thing and then coming out a whole nother thing. So that's how you your energy. It's even like I was just reading um, about like DNA and how DNA holds information in it. So... Your DNA structure holds the information that has been passed down from lifetime to lifetime to lifetime. Just like you hear, oh, I'm going to have diabetes because my mom had it and my mama's mom had it and it's been running in my family. I'm going to have cancer because my whole family had it. Yes, you have that DNA in your body, but you can totally transform your DNA cell structure by 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 being aware first of that you are not that you can become and that's becoming the alchemist of yourself recognizing and changing your whole DNA structure to a higher vibration a higher frequency it's quite beautiful and anyone can do it you just have to like start having faith in yourself and um it's a process. It's a huge process. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be on this process for a long time. <laughs> it's really exciting because, like, when you start, like, seeing the physical changes happening because you've mentally changed, you're like, whoa, the world is magic. This shit is real. Energy is for real. Like my whole life is literally changing in blinks of eyes. Like, oh, boo. Paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. Fuck. It's so crazy. Um, like, seriously, I am... I was in Florida four months ago. And now I'm in Iowa, where exactly where I'm supposed to be to build my exact dreams. I have everything I need right in front of my face to literally create the abundance that I'm creating. And that's why I was like, okay, it's really time for me to start doing my YouTube videos. I have physically and mentally seen this transformation within myself. Now I have to share these secrets with the world. Because like, if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. You can literally become who you want. And when I say that like that, like it's seriously like that. Like you have to, you have to have the experience on your own. And I want to, the, the things I say help to guide you to that experience. So you can have that personal experience and understand what I'm trying to, to 
speak with you, tell you about, but it's more so of you have to have the experience so you can understand what I'm saying. Um, so alchemy, like I think I talked about in another video, uh, turning lead into gold within yourselves, transforming your whole, oh yeah, that's where we're at, DNA structure, that's transforming your whole DNA structure within yourself to become a higher vibration, so you're just not stuck on a lower vibration doing lower vibrating things that do not serve you anymore. So our body is what is it matter yeah our body is matter it's dense right we're in this dense 3d world with this 3d body so to enter to to get to to ascend to a higher vibration we have to create a denser body for ourselves a light body we have a lot of stagnant energy that's been like pushed onto us with all this illusion around us and it's very hard to be like how is this an illusion when I physically see it but I like to bring up the example that this can definitely be illusion because energy is real you can call someone on the phone all the way across the country and they could pick up and talk to you but how energy is real you can't see it and that's not an illusion the things you can't see are not an illusion. The things you can see are an illusion. It's like a mind fuck. Um, yeah, this, that's how I like explain it. You can't see how you're talking to this person all the way over there, but somehow in this energy field, the words are being transported over there in literally like a speed of light time. Like think about it, like you say hello, and it's all the way over there already. Like it's happening at the same time. It's It's really trippy when you start like, getting into this weird stuff um it's really cool I mean it's it's I don't know it's what I like um where was I so our bodies are very dense and that's why we're kind of like stuck here on earth because our bodies are really dense once we start to recognize that we live in these dense bodies and to become lighter is to transform the energy inside your body transform the DNA to a light body what is a light body Nikki a light body have I ever introduced myself I'm Nikki nice to meet you um, okay so a light body is more of like it's your energy okay and um, Your energy, your your 3D body, you're very dense. You're you're holding on to. We get distracted with this 3D world because there's so many distractions. Because we want this and we want this and we want this and we want this. It's an illusion. We want we want this and we want this and we want this. We're holding on to so much stuff that we become heavier and heavier and heavier and we actually let our egos take control of who we are because we think all these things are who we are but in actual reality we are just energy beautiful energy and energy is light and it flows I mean there's different forms of energy but a light body is letting go of this illusion I don't need this this has nothing to do with me I don't need this I don't need this I don't need this I don't need that and it's and it, that's when you can jump timelines and understand like I don't need any of this stuff I'm on earth so I can come back and forth because I'm not I'm being formless to life so learning how to be formless Going with the wind, just letting yourself flow. People get so attached to other people. People get so attached to material objects. People get so attached to money. None of this even matters. I know it's like mind fucking to be like, how does that not matter? I have to pay my bills. I have to do this. You're forgetting yourself. You're forgetting to take care of your true essence, which is such a beautiful beautiful 
bright light of energy that has came out of the dark and is flourishing if you allow yourself to flourish. I just want to save the world, but the only person I can save first is myself. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I guess that means that um, you have to save yourself first, which means let go of everything else around you and go within. Dude, when I say meditating helps, it freaking helps. You're really, so you close your eyes and you're not even worried or you shouldn't be worried about anything, but you're not even thinking or, you know, you've let go of this. Why meditating is so good is you're closing your eyes. You're letting go of this world. You're coming into your pure essence. You're diving deep within yourself and you're just being. You're okay with just being instead of like, I need to do this. I need to do that. I have to pay this bill. I have to drive my car here. I need to get gas. I got to eat this food. You know, another thing is like, I really like, this is just my theory. I really don't think we need to eat three times a day. Um, honestly, no, like we, we hold ourselves so fucking heavy. Like we do so many things and consume, consume, consume heaviness, 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 but we don't, we don't need that heaviness. We don't need to be consuming all these things. We don't need to be eating all this food. We're literally just like, we're, we're depleting our energy. Um, meditation helps with bringing your energy back up. Um, eating healthy. I'm a vegan. Go just eat healthy. Eat fruits and vegetables. What's natural. What the earth is grown for us to eat medicine. Fruits and veggies are freaking medicine. Medicine. Please, eat your medicine instead of going to the doctor. You don't need the doctor. It's all an illusion. <laughs> um, anyways, I don't know. I'm freaking weird. So I'm hoping I'm going to start doing some tarot cards. I think you guys kind of get to know me now and I've kind of explained myself. Um, dope. I'm going to have some dope fucking videos. So keep posted, please. Thank you.